Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another Mini Brands unboxing. Today we have got the Zuru Mini Brands books. Now these are real readable pages and a little bit hard to come by. <laughs> it took me a while to actually get these because they were not in stock anywhere. But I finally did pick them up from my local Target um, I had to do an order to the store pickup because I was afraid they weren't going to have them out on the shelves. So I did do it um, to where they would have to go get them to fulfill the order. But these are um, $7.99 usually. So they are very cool. There are five surprises in these. Now that could be four books and, a, and an accessory. There are actually little shelves in here also. So I am very eager to see which ones we get. So let's see. Okay. So this is ball number one. And we are going to take a look at what all we can get that are in here. So Legendary is Night of the Living Dummy. Iconic, we've got Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and a couple of the Dog Man books. Ultra Rare, we've got some Diary of the Wimpy Kids and some classic books, Alice in Wonderland, Black Beauty, and A Christmas Carol. And then Regular Rare, we have got uh, The Mean Girls, Burn Book, a copy of Clueless, uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, the other two Miss Peregrine's home books, a couple of some older ones like Bonicula. I really want Bonicula. It's super cute. I remember that being one of the most horrifying <laughs> books as a child. And then we have got our commons here on the back. So we have got some Colleen Hoover, some Ronald Dahl, some more Diary of the Wimpy Kids, three of the Vampire Diaries books, a couple Stranger Things, a couple Goosebook, Goosebumps, and some Mad Libs. Now we've also got our, we've got bookmarks, magnifying glass, and a bookshelf. I'm kind of hoping I get a bookshelf because they're stackable, but we'll see. Well, I feel something that's large. I think, oh, awesome, I got a bookshelf. Here we go, let's do this. Uh, this'll be great, because we can put our books directly on the bookshelf. Okay, so, we take these, and these. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And then take them in there. over. Okay. And then we take this one. Just like that. And then you can um, take the top off 
and stack them at this point if you need to. As you can see, it's about the same size as the tables that we get with our mini brands. So I'm actually going to keep these instructions out so we can use them later if we need to. Now let's see which books we got. So our first one is the Babysitter's Little Sisters, Karen's Witch. So again, it's very cute. Like the first page is readable, the rest of the book not really so much. Which that's fine, like if these were actually book books, I feel like they would be really expensive. But that's our first one to go on the shelf. Let's see, oh, we got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is a rather disturbing book. It does have some other pictures in there, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so as you can see, most of them are going to be about that size. Oh, and then we've got a uh, bookmark we can put on top, and Dogman Unleashed, which I think is one of our rare ones, right? So that's our luxury one, and that's actually a hardback, as you can see, compared to the others. It does actually have the whole thing, looks like it is blank, except for the first couple of pages that are actually readable but very interesting. We love that. So we got our five surprises. So we got a shelf, three books, and a bookmark. Not bad for our first ball. I was very hoping that I was going to get that one. Again, there is the UPC. I got all of these at Target. And let's see what we get in ball number two. Again, I'm hoping for just kind of um, enough that, you know, I can make a kind of little library with for my dolls. Because these are like the perfect size for dolls. Oh, it looks like we got another shelf. Are we getting a shelf in every one, I guess, maybe? Let's see. Yep, okay, so we've got a shelf. We can go like this. Again, we can just snap it on, just like that. Put our little feet on, and we've got another shelf. And again, the only thing that changes if we want to stack these is we would take the feet off of one and then stack it on top of the other. And once you've got those, you kind of got it figured out the first time. Uh, so 
So we got our magnifying glass, which does actually magnify. Very cool. And we got our another Ronald Dahl book, another BFG. Very cute. We've got little instructions. Do not use the magnifying glass under direct sunlight. Please don't torture the ants. Um, so let's see what other two books we got. Oh yeah, we got Bonicula. Yes, truly disturbing book from what I remember. But highly recommend. Uh, and then our last one for this one is Goosebumps the Haunted Mask. I love me a good Goosebumps. So overall, we're doing pretty well. I don't know if we're going to get a shelf with every ball, but if we do, I'm not really complaining about that. Like, I like getting these shelves, but it feels like there's not really going to be enough books to kind of fill these shelves every time because they are so thin. So if you do get one every ball, it's going to be a little, uh, a little uh, disappointing, but it does seem like we've got another one, so I'm actually going to not build that one. Uh, we're going to look at the other ones just to save time until we actually run out of space. So, Ronald Dahl, the Twits. Very cute. You have to kind of carefully check these bags uh, because some of your bookmarks will be in there with the book. Oh, not of the Limic Dummy. I think this is our ultimate rare, right? Or are there two copies of it? No, legendary? Okay. Let me just make sure there's not a different one. Okay, yeah, so there is a different one. So there's that one compared to this one, which I'm not sure what the difference is. But, interesting. We'll put that one on top in case we come across the other one. Uh, okay, nothing else in there. And our next one that we've got. We've got a cute little red bookmark. And we've got our Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And this is also in a hardback. So, super cute. And then all the pages have writing on them. And let's see. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. The original one have a rarity. No, it's just here on the back on commons. Okay. So, not bad. I did get the Bonicula that I wanted. Um, um, I do want the burn book. The millennial in me really wants the burn book. And no, I have not seen the new Moon Girls musical, just because I'm going to wait for it to come out at home so that way I can sing along and not interrupt the uh, people music. So let's see what we got in this one. Okay. So we did get another thing of shelves. So I'm going to take that over there. And this has got Twits. So we've got our Twits and the magnifying glass again. Now we'll see if that means that all of our things are duplicates. Could very well mean that. Okay, yeah, Haunted Mask. We did get a new bookmark. Right there. And 
Stranger Things Suspicious Mind. Okay, so not all of your things are going to be duplicates if you do get a duplicate ball or what you think is going to be a duplicate ball. So that's good. And again, no bad thing as duplicates for shelf filler. thing of shelves right here. Okay, Goosebumps, Night of the Living Dummy again. So I'm still not sure if that's the legendary one or not. I'm guessing that's the common one. Seems weird that I'm not able to tell the difference. Uh, we've got Holiday Inn, very cute, from the author of Benicula. Um, and then our last one. So we've got a new bookmark again that says Many Brands Books. And then we've got Miss Peregrine's. So this is one of our luxury ones. So we've got two out of the three luxury ones already. So that's good. And we have opened five of our seven balls and pretty much filled up our first shelf. Now we did have a couple of duplicates already and that's fine. But I'm a little bummed out that we get so many shelves. I was thinking they were gonna be more like the mini brands shelves where you get like maybe like one in every five had a shelf in it. Um, just because this seems like it's gonna be a lot of shelving that you wind up with at the end of everything. Um, but again, another shelf. Like if they were gonna do that, they could have made them different colors. I think would have been kind of fun. But. It's fine. Okay. And we've got another Holiday M. That's fine. Uh, we've got our another Haunted Mask. That's our second duplicate of that one. Did... Nope, nothing else in there. And then we've got another duplicate of, we've got another Diary of the Wimpy Kit. And I, another of these. So a lot of duplicates in that ball. That's okay. We've got one more to go. I'm not gonna be like distraught if I don't get the, uh, the burn book or anything. I really just wanted to get these for my dolls because I'm a reader and I wanted my dolls to be able to have the opportunity to be readers as well in case they secretly do come to life. You never know. Toy Story has freaked us all out. I know a lot of people are a lot more nervous around toys nowadays. Um, so, all in all, it looks like for Every ball, you get three books. So it's about 250 a book. Okay, we got another one of these. Boy, that's a lot of goosebumps. That's a whole goosebumps section. Uh, so we got a different Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick's Rules, and we've got another of those. Uh, parchment looking ones. Okay. And then our last book is a Colleen Hoover. I've never actually read any Colleen Hoover, even though I'm on Book Talk. 
I am a romanticy book talkie person, not a Colleen Handler book talkie person, but that's okay. Um, so still not quite sure what the difference in these uh, Night of the Living Dummies is supposed to be, but it's not bad. So, with seven balls, we filled up approximately two shelves. We do have five others that we could build uh, and make like some big storage unit, kind of like um, the Ikea ones that I have back there with my handmade jewelry for the dolls on it. So, you could kind of do that if you felt like it, but I think for now these are going to be super cute. I'm really glad that I was actually able to pick these up. Um, I'm sure there's a way to tell which one you're going to get in the balls, but I'm never quite sure about how that actually works. So if you guys luck into finding these, they're pretty good, even when you do get duplicates. Like, who doesn't have a couple of copies of a couple of things? I don't know. So I'm hoping there are a second series of these, and after the success of this one, I hope it draws in a couple of more big name like publishers and authors to be able to like donate their uh, titles to the collection. So if you guys have any questions on these, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Be good, y'all. Bye.